Hey, what's up everyone? So today I'm just going to do a quick video on how to work with curves. So the first thing I would do um, is click on this little arrow here. If you're not already in curves, by the way, click here. And then I always like to expand the curve so we can see them and you can move this around so you can see your, your viewer. And essentially the way curves work, it's shadows here to the left highlights to the right. So for example, if I were to just grab this and move it, you can see it gets a little bit darker. If I were to click here and drop down, it gets a little bit darker. If I were to grab here, I'm increasing the brightness. Up is increasing, down is decreasing. And then with the shadows, up is increasing, down is decreasing, and then midtones here. Okay, so without getting too deep and techy into it, this is just kind of a quick um, crash course, if you will, on the curves. And so uh, let's get started. Uh, how can I make this kind of go in a cinematic direction? So the first thing I always do is always be aware is something you might have heard, heard of, which is an S-curve. So traditionally film has an S-shaped curve. This right here is just linear, it's a straight line. And typically, if you look at the characteristics of 35 millimeter film, that's what I mean when I say film, actual 35 millimeter film. It will tend to have characteristics that look something kind of like this, an S shape, boom. And I just did this kind of randomly, which is why that looks that way. But it's just kind of an idea to keep in mind that that shape tends to make things look nice. Um, and so what we're going to do, this image here is pretty flat. It started off here which is kind of the log file, and I just kind of did a quick bringing it out of log. So the first thing I'm going to do is click here, and I always like to go to editable splines. And first let me show you why. If I were to just go here and drag this down, there's not, it's kind of rough, there's not much control, kind of like you saw before. And if I click here, there's not much control, it's just kind of a rough movement. But if I go here and go to editable splines and make sure that's checked on, boom. Then when you do create a point in the shadows, you have these kind of handles here so that you can make a much more fluid, controllable adjustment. You can see you can make it short to make a more direct adjustment or make them a little bit longer to make it a smoother adjustment with better roll-offs here, and then let's say I go here. You can see you get a little bit more fluid behavior from the curves. So here's another trick. You can always click on an area and it will show you where that lands. So if I want to adjust that area here, I can do that and then You can take and move this, or I can then grab this. Like that. And make adjustments, and then take that specific spot that I grabbed, and if I pull down, you can see that spot that I selected got darker. So I'll show you that again. If I wanted to make this area darker, you click, and then I can grab this and start sliding it down boom and then I can maybe use this to kind of finesse a little bit and so maybe I want my darks just like that nice and dark and then I want my highlights here I'm gonna bring those up And notice I'm just kind of dragging this and sliding it, finding where her face and the areas I want to adjust live. So it's a dark shot, so it looks like it's pretty low, something like this. And now I'm going to take this and finesse the look. And notice what's happening just naturally as I'm adjusting this and finding a good area that I like. An S-curve is kind of developing here. And I'm making this an intentionally very contrasty look. Or if I wanted to, I could take this 
and wash it out. Okay, so there we go, and boom. We start off here, and now we're here. Okay, and then maybe I will. And that is just a quick adjustment using curves. Now you can use the curves to have dramatic changes like this, or you can also use them if you just wanna make slight adjustments to something. For example, if this was already graded and I wanted to just bring down maybe the brightness up here, I might create a curve, click, and you can see it selected that area, and then maybe I'll make points on either ends, just so it's a little bit more of a controlled adjustment. And now here's the original one, and I can just kind of bring that, only that area down. And then I can take these here and maybe smooth things out. So you can see you can have a lot of control with curves. So that is the quick lesson on using curves in DaVinci Resolve. And do not forget to subscribe and click like. And definitely always let me know if you want to see any topics or any videos. And I'll see you next time.